Hey yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Scatino, aka Scat. I've got a brand new video for you. Uh, I know it's been a while since I actually put up a video, but this time I've got a review and that review is finally, I know it's um, later than a lot of people have already done, but it is of FIFA 12. So the reason I didn't put up a review earlier is just because, you know, I get sick to death of seeing people who buy games and no less than 24 hours later they've got a review up on youtube and it's like they've just bought a 50 plus hour rpg and like within 24 hours they've done a review don't understand that so anyway i'm not like that <laughs> you know so anyway i played a lot of fifa 12 and i played well i played a shit ton of fifa 12 that i think it warrants me actually actually being able to review the game now, there's a lot of positives, but there's also a lot of negatives about this game, and I'm going to go through them. Um, so, yeah, so, you know, let's just get into it. So, first of all, the positives. What do I like about FIFA 12? Well, first of all, I like the support your club feature. Now, support the club feature is something that happens when you first pick up FIFA 12 and you first boot up the game. Basically, you get to choose a club that you want to support throughout your whole FIFA 12 career. You can pick any club that you want, you know, your real life club who you support or just whoever you want within the game. So for me, obviously, I pick Manchester United. Um, now, what supporting your club does is, well, it doesn't really do anything, but everything you do within your FIFA career, every game you play, like online, offline, anything you do goes towards gaining experience for your club now what that actually does then is helps your club um, actually you know go up the league you know um, increase its position within the league you know helps it avoid relegation into the lower leagues or even gain promotion if it's already in a lower league you know so everything you do goes towards your club and the good thing about it is just because you know like again me, for instance, just because I picked Manchester United right at the beginning of the game doesn't necessarily mean I have to play with Manchester United for the rest of my FIFA 12 career. I can play with anyone I want. Barcelona, Real Madrid, Bayern Munich, um, Juventus, Lazio, anyone like that. And it will always gain experience for Manchester United, which is a really good feature. Also, you have your own like levelling system, you know, you so like playing ramp matches and everything like that you you gain experience and all that kind of stuff um which is really good you know everyone loves a kind of leveling system in games and you know again they've implemented that and they've done it in a much better way than they had in previous series as well um they've also brought back you know be a pro be be a goalkeeper where you can actually create your character um increase the stats and attributes and all that kind of stuff you can even unlock different kind of traits celebrations um different kinds of clothing like different colored socks different colors for training um stuff and like what's it and your boots and all that kind of stuff like you can actually unlock by playing a career mode and un like doing certain things within the accomplishments that you get you know they brought back that accomplishment system over as well so that that's really good and um, the arena mates have returned that's always welcome just to be able to mess about in the arena practice your skills with uh, your be a pro even create set pieces and all that kind of stuff so that's really good and um, they brought back um, custom soundtracks I love custom soundtracks when I'm playing FIFA and um, they've also actually introduce challenges this time around so every week a different challenge will be set so one of the challenges that i played a while back was dethrone the italian champions and who was that? i had to play as juventus and i had to win against inter milan that was a challenge basically that i had, that i had to do and completing that challenge i gained an experience for it so those challenges come i think it's once a week or twice a week but you know they're always fun to do and again like you um you gain experience for them as well um so what else let's move into the online modes online mode is what i'm going to be speaking about a lot in this review so first of all 
I want to thank EA for how they've been able to tackle the um, rage quit issues that I've had in previous games. You know, people would rage quit just, you know, constantly in FIFA 10 and FIFA 11. And it was so annoying when you'd play 89 minutes of a match and then you'd rage quit, like, right at the end. I mean, you'd still get the 3-0 win, but it, it didn't really count for anything. And I think that's why a lot of people did rage quit, because they, they didn't care. You know, they were, they, there was no kind of penalty system, really, that really affected them. Whereas now, you, you have the head-to-head -head seasons. So, what you're actually trying to do now, in every rank match you play, you're trying to gain promotion into a better league. So, if you rage quit, and you pretty much give your opponent a 3-0 win, that, that's going to leave you closer and closer to the relegation zone. Because within each season, you have a set amount of games that you have to play, and you have to reach a certain amount of points, either like 12 or 14 points, that you have to reach in order to gain promotion. If you get somewhere in the middle, then you stay in that league, but if you don't get enough points then you're going to be relegated into a lower league. So everybody's got something to play for now. So it's, re it's really, really um, cut back on the people that are age quitting. I mean, you do get one every now and again, but it's nowhere near on the level that, you know, um, that FIFA 10 and FIFA 11 were. Um, so that's that. Also, there's not that many disconnects as well. Like FIFA 10, FIFA 11... Games were disconnecting left, right, and centre. Not as much in FIFA 12, so that's really good as well. Um, also, the friendly seasons that you have against like people on your friends list is really good because each person, again, you have a different season, and whoever comes out on top at the end of that season wins the cup, and that rolls over, and you roll over as you know the current champion. So it. it it, it's your title to defend basically so that's another really good system it's a lot easier now to get into games with your friends so I, re I really enjoy that system as well now let's move on to the negatives because I've not got a lot of time to actually um, finish this video so first of all you know the biggest issue I have with FIFA 12 at the moment is tactical defending and I think a lot of people are going to have this issue it was a Big, big controversial issue when they released the FIFA 12 demo. Everyone was excited for the demo and then they brought it out and everyone was like, whoa, tactical defending, what the fuck is this shit? You know, people did claim it was the best thing since fucking sliced bread. You know, it was the next coming of Jesus for FIFA, tactical defending was. And it was all bullshit at the end of the day. I mean, people do get used to it. I have no doubt that people have got used to it and they enjoy the system. But for others... It's going to take a long, long time to actually get used to, if ever you get used to it. Now, my biggest problem with it, you know, I actually enjoy tactical defending when it works. But my point is, I play 99% of my games online. You know, other than career and FIFA Ultimate Team that I don't really fuck with, I, I play online, I play online against friends, I play online in ramp matches. Now, my problem is, there is still a certain amount of lag in FIFA 12. Because it works off a player-to-player -player system, so it's based off each person's connection. And EA have already come out and said it's got nothing to do with their servers or whatsoever. It's down to your player's connection. Now, this is the problem. That introduces a certain amount of lag. Now, with tactical defending, it is a time-based system. You know, you've got to time your tackles correctly, perfectly, you know, in order to make those, like, tackles, those last-second challenges. But if you're going to introduce a time-based system, then you better make sure your netcode is fucking amazing. Now, this is the problem because with tactical defending, you know, that split second of input lag is going to fuck up your whole game. You know, that second, that split second of input lag is a difference between a perfect tackle or a foul in the box in giving your opponents a penalty. You know, and this constantly happens. You know, I always feel that bit of lag. You know, tackles that you believe you've timed perfectly and you should have got the ball, the player will, like, just step over the ball. Or, you know, completely just miss the ball and things like that. And that leaves your opponents free to run round job because the players are still recovering from the animation. 
thing, you know, that animation recovery, that, you know, that second or two recovery animation. So the attackers have took the ball, right round it, scored back in the net. So that's really annoying. They really need to sort that out because it's, it's, it's fucking awful playing online. It really breaks the gameplay for me. I mean, other people, if you're playing on like a 50 megabit or 100 megabit connection, probably not going to have that problem. If you're working off a whack ass connection like me because I don't get great internet here, it definitely is a problem. And it really, you know, it frustrates me to hell. I mean, you can't have a time based system and then have laggy ass online. It's just not going to work. So on top of that, you know, they still, God knows why, they still have those little micro freezes where the game will just freeze and it could freeze for anywhere up to 10 to 15 seconds and then the game continues. Again, it just completely breaks, you know, the flow of the game. God knows why it's in there. I've never understood it. I don't even know if EA have ever given an explanation for it. It's not only restricted to online play, it happens offline as well, this little micro freeze. Don't know what's up with it, so they need to sort that out. Um, and ju just like the stupidity of the AI sometimes, you know, like take yesterday, for example, I was playing games online. I had three defenders in the box playing against Arsenal, passed the ball right past them, literally right past them. The ball rolled right past them, and they didn't do shit. None of them tried to intercept the ball. I'm clicking L1 like a fucking, you know, blue ass fly trying to move my cursor onto the player in order to for them to intercept it, but they don't do it that way. And, and then what happens, you know, the ball rolls past them, Arsenal pick up the ball on the other end of the box, bam, back in the net, and 1 0 down. And there's all kind of weird shit like that that happens. Um, the goal is, you know, sometimes. When the attackers will shoot, they hit the post. The ball will bounce back onto the diving goalkeeper, hit him on the ass, and into the back of the net. That's not realistic. You know, it may happen like freakishly, you know, from time to time in a real life match, but you're not going to see it like, you know, two times in every single match. No, it's not going to happen. Little things like that, I think they messed up the crossing as well. You know, my favourite thing in, like, your know, past FIFA games was to bang it down the wing, you know, cross the ball into the box, bang, ruin his head, back in the net, completely broke that. You bang it down the wing, cross the ball, and it's going to go right out. You need to get onto, you need to turn your body to a 90-degree angle in order to shoot that ball across, right, and actually be able to score a fucking goal. Um... So there's problems with that, you know, the different little glitches like that with just the AI of, uh, of the players just not working how you're supposed to, players constantly being offside when they're not supposed to, when you've not even asked them to make a run, things like that that really, really need to be sorted out because it's absolutely ridiculous. No game frustrates me like FIFA 12 does when playing it online. I mean, for all the good that they've brought to the series this year, you know, it it feels more of a step backwards because, you know, they, they've killed the online, basically, by introducing tactical defending, but yet it works on a timed-based system, but yet you've got so much lag online that it really fucks up the flow of the gameplay. And with that, they've created another FIFA that is just a goal fest. You know, Pro Evo was king of football, you know, in, in on the last generation of consoles because it was more realistic. FIFA was always laughed at just because it was a complete goal fest. They, they rectified that in the last few iterations of the game. You know, FIFA has been great. FIFA has become king. But now with tactical defending and everything, it's gone back into a goal fest again. You know, every single game I play, there's been no less than five or six goals scored. Sometimes it's seven, eight, nine, ten goals. It's ridiculous. It's not realistic. They need to sort the shit out. My problem is I love football and I've got a passion for it. And although I complain about the game, I'm still going to go and play it. You know, it's ridiculous, I know. But, you know, what can you do? You love football and you need, uh, I need my fix. So that's it, guys. That's my review. You know, other than that, the game can be great. And I'd, I'd, get, I'd give it a solid 8. A solid 8, the game. Serious. But I can't give it any more than that. Just because... 
some of the issues are still present from past games and you just can't ignore them because they are there and anyone who's going to um, defend the game well I don't mind if you defend the game you know a review is a review at the end of the day it's one person's opinion people have dif different experiences with FIFA than me but I, I do know there are people out there who are having these kind of problems and they do need to be addressed it's not a perfect game by any means so you know that's it but you know hit me up in the comment section with your thoughts on the game I'd love to know what you think any issues you're having you know the bugs glitches anything like that just hit me up in the comment section so that's it from me guys so a solid 8 out of 10 for FIFA 12 I'm your boy Scatino and I'm out peace